We're learning more about the death of a baby on the 405 freeway. We can confirm the incident is one of three deadly crime scenes stretching from Woodland Hills to Redondo Beach that are all connected. Police have now identified the suspect. They also say she pushed both her children out of a moving car after murdering her boyfriend. Eyewitness News reporter Sophie Flay is live in Van Nuys with the disturbing details. Sophie. Colleen, it's still unclear if the boyfriend is the father of the baby girl who died. LAPD is still awaiting those DNA results, but here's what they've learned in the last 24 hours. Police say the mother of an eight month old baby and a nine year old girl stabbed her partner in their apartment at 340 Monday morning in Woodland Hills. The mother and suspect identified as 34 year old Danielle Johnson. The man stabbed 29 year old Jalen Chaney, according to a coroner's report. Police say they were living together and are not married. Eyewitness News has learned the nine year old is an eyewitness to the stabbing death at that Woodland Hills apartment. There's surveillance video showing the suspect leaving the apartment complex with two kids. At around 4 a.m., the young girls were pushed out of the car by their mother on the 405 freeway, according to LAPD. The nine-year-old girl was holding the baby at that time when she was ejected from the vehicle. Um, as she hit the roadway, she injured herself and she let go of the infant being in the middle of the freeway. The baby was hit by a car and pronounced dead at the scene. The nine-year-old taken to a hospital. The, the surviving child, I just can't get her out of my mind. And I, I can see her little face and... I feel very badly. And at 5 a.m., Johnson was found dead inside her car, a dark-colored Porsche Cayenne, after smashing into a tree in Redondo Beach. Next-door neighbors at the Woodland Hills apartment building said they heard yelling in the middle of the night. And while leaving for work Monday morning, this neighbor saw... Their door was wide open. There was blood on the floor leading into their apartment, and then a trail of it in the hallway leading up to the elevator, and I saw some blood on the walls. That little girl obviously saw more than she ever should have seen in any, any life yesterday. So. I just hope someone's taking care of her because she's going to need it. And LAPD tells us that that nine year old girl is with the Department of Child and Family Services. They have identified their father, but that's all that they've given us as for now. Live in Van Nuys, Sophie Flay, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC 7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC 7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.